Welcome to the 2021 Commencement Exercises for the Minnesota State Academy for the Blind. I'm Ilana Centaur and I will be your audio describer for this event. Uh, as we are waiting for the uh, ceremony to begin, I would like to describe what the room looks like. Uh, not a typical uh, graduation because of the restrictions of social distancing for COVID. So there are 30 chairs in the room. They are set in groupings of six, scattered as pods around the room. Uh, for each of the uh, five graduates have um, the ability to have six seats in the room. So those seats are scattered around the room. Um, at nine o'clock on the wall, uh, against the wall, there is a maroon poster on an easel that says, congratulations, 2021 MSAB seniors. Also at about 10 o'clock is the ramp that the graduates will walk up to stand on the platform. There are um, a series of seats uh, on the far right of the platform stage area where they will be seated during the ceremony. Also on the stage is a podium microphone and a large screen TV um, that currently has a graphic that says congratulations MSAB class of 2021. It has a series of stars around uh, the graphic and it has a silhouette of a graduate in white with their arms up uh, and holding a rolled up diploma in their hand. And as I am talking, different people are filing into the room and finding their seats. People are really just gathering around um, in addition to the families seated down. Uh, uh, Terry Wilding is here with John. Uh, they are seated in the front uh, facing the um, ASL interpreters who will be providing ASL. So John Davis is sitting there with Terry facing the ASL describers. And my apologies, I do not have the name of the ASL describers for this. So the, uh, according to the program, uh, what is going to be happening is that there will be the processional, uh, playing Pomp and Circumstances and the school song. Uh, Melissa Myers and students, Melissa, Marissa Myers and Pablo Contreras uh, performing. Uh, then there will be the welcome by Terry Wilding. Uh, the commencement speaker is Hannah Harriman, who is an MSAB alum. And Jennifer has started the processional pomp and circumstance. The students are walking in. Rocky is walking in. He's wearing a gold cap and gown. Rocky Hart. He's making his way. walking to the center of the room. Everyone in the audience is standing. People are taking videos. Stage and is greeting Rocky. Meanwhile, 
Aviana Casal has entered. She's wearing a maroon cap and gown. She walks to the center of the stage. Some uh, young family member is cheering her on, jumping up and down. And she walks to the ramp. very fast up the ramp. Next in the room is Isabella Kong, and she has entered the room. She too is wearing a maroon cap and gown. is taking the microphone. She's at the podium. She takes down her mask. We will sing the school song. If you're not familiar with it, you can look in your program. It's on the inside. Please remain standing. Dixon Highland. 
Jamie comes back to the podium. That's it. Everyone is seeing I'm Jamie Jacob. Um, I have the pleasure of being the 2020 MSME class uh, senior sponsor this year. And I would like to welcome up our superintendent, Mr. Wilding, to give our welcome today. She puts her mask back on. Terry hands the mic to one of the um, interpreters. Terry is wearing a suit. And he's taking some notes out of his pocket. He's standing at the podium. He takes down his mask. All right, welcome everyone here to this gym and those watching on live stream today. I just want to show appreciation for having everyone here in person and thinking about these last 15 months, not really having people here on campus and finally now being able to see your faces and to really appreciate the senior class 2021. This has been a very difficult year for everyone. There have been many challenges, those working and you know, learning from home, trying to figure out distance learning and being on campus and making sure that you have full access to learning. So we just really want to thank everyone and their hard work this year. And Mr. Davis, the director, all the staff, SEPAs, dorm staff, and other support staff on campus. A big round of applause for them and all their hard work throughout all the changes that we've experienced this year to really continue supporting our students and their learning. And also a big hats off and round of applause to these graduates who have persevered in this tough year. We have grown up with being in person, in class, and with all these changes they've had to go through this year, very commendable. So within these last 15 months of distance learning and having the mix of hybrid learning, being on campus and those constant changes and ebb and flow of learning, they have persevered and they've learned a lot of things throughout these 15 months. And this is a unique class. This is a time in history and a lot of you have learned this very unique way. This is a unique group who have learned in this way and I just want to say congratulations for your hard work and you made it through. I have an annual tradition I'd like to share with you. Some of you may know a little bit about it. My tradition has always been to wear a special tie for graduation. I try to match the colors of the graduating class that they have selected for their class colors, just to symbolize and have my tie match the theme for this year. So I did a little bit of reading and found some uh, colors with, with their colors being maroon and gold and found the meaning behind both colors. So maroon means various things. It can mean passion, confidence, creativity, excitement, strength, ambition, warmth, and beauty. So that's maroon. And then we have the color gold, which means compassion, courage, magic, illumination, wisdom, and wealth. So those two colors symbolize a lot of things. And those are a lot of different words that I just mentioned that I want to say could reflect and will reflect this class of 2021 in your life. So show those qualities, graduates, out in the world, whether you go to college or in the work world, showing it in your private life and just in your community. True success comes when those qualities are embedded in our daily actions. It's once again about those qualities that you show and exhibit in your life on a daily basis. I want to share a brief story about a time when I actually went to China about three years ago. We were developing partnerships in a school there in China and collaborating with our school here. So I had the opportunity to meet various people there. And in Chinese culture, 
they, uh, for, you know, with history and traditions, keeping that in mind. So whether it's a big project or a big challenge, one thing that I have learned from a person there that told me was a quote that I try to keep in mind at any challenges that come my way. And that is, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And it's just a Chinese proverb by Lao Tzu, a philosopher. So it really does show the importance of how we look at life in general. Because sometimes we can look at think of our goal, think of a journey, and think how far it is until we reach that goal, and how big of a challenge it's going to be, and what obstacles are going to come in our way. And it seems like that goal is at the top of the mountain, and that's a far way, and it sometimes seems impossible. But if you break it down one step at a time and work at it piece by piece, you'll find yourself getting to that top of the mountain and reaching your goal. So taking that one step at a time every day makes that goal attainable. And it might be tricky to take that first step. Sometimes you kind of just feel stuck and making that change is difficult, but I encourage you to take that first step and reach your goals. So that is my message to you, class of 2021, including to thanking parents and staff for really supporting these graduates and for their continued support throughout your journey out into the world. So congratulations to the class of 2021. I hope to see you and your successes in the future, and I know I will. is walking off the stage. He's putting his notes back in his jack pocket, putting back on his mask, and Jamie is stepping back up onto the stage. She's taking down her Now mask. I'd like to welcome Hannah Harriman. She is a former MSAB alumni. She was in the Academy Plus program from 2014 until January of 2016. Um, she is pre-recorded. Little, um, speech for the She's on the video. She's sitting in front of a keyboard. I wonder that you asked me to celebrate with you on this momentous occasion. You are all going to do amazing things, whether that be going into the workforce or continuing your education. Both of these paths are necessary to society and are well within your reach. No matter what you do with your lives, I promise it will be valuable, meaningful, and rewarding. There will be people who will tell you that because you are blind, you won't succeed. You have a choice, however. Will you live according to their standards, or will you choose to rise above them to prove them wrong? If you're sitting here today wondering, how can I rise above? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to rise above without giving you practical advice. First, believe in yourself. In my personal experience, my biggest barrier to rising above and to, su to succeeding in overcoming obstacles was that I let other people define me. I don't
to fear or be ashamed of. Rather, it is something to be proud of. I encourage you to embrace these challenges and say, how can I use what I have to change the world in a small way today? Finally, set high expectations for yourself. I know what you're thinking, that you have been told to set high expectations for yourself and to work hard from the beginning of your school days until now. It's a true statement, however. Part of our responsibility as people who are our body is paving the, the way and setting the bar video. Jamie is coming back to the podium and Jennifer turned off the video and put it back I'm to I'm going to introduce uh, Jennifer Pelletier. She's our music therapist to come up um, give a little information about the songs that you'll hear today. There's going to be a little change in the program. Um, we will sing or you'll hear the song from the MSAB choir and then we're going to do the Daniel Miller um, Royal Scholarship after that and then it'll be the staff Jennifer and uh, Jamie are covering. It's your guys' turn to talk. <laughs> so I welcome up uh, a family member from each of the graduates to come up. There is a microphone here off to my left hand side. Uh, you can come up in no particular order. So whoever wants to come up and speak on behalf of the graduates. So a gentleman is getting up, he's taking off his mask, he's standing at the small podium. He's leaning into the microphone. I'm Kurt. Yeah, this is hard. Calls for COVID. Jamie is wiping well, down, <laughs> wiping off the microphone, and now a woman has come up to the podium. Hi, my name is Michelle Castle. I'm an obvious castle stepmom. Um, Aviana's had many obstacles in her life. Um, when she was four years old, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor which also caused her vision loss. She's also had major brain surgeries after that. Despite, despite these obstacles, she's remained strong and brave. Not only is Aviana a deep thinker, she has a huge heart. This is shown for her devotion to her friends and to her family. Aviana, you're smart, 
beautiful and compassionate towards others. I admire your determination. Sorry, I'm so proud of you. So excited for your future, and I hope all your dreams come true. Congratulations on your graduation. gentleman is walking up to the podium. Jamie has wiped off the microphone again. And the gentleman takes the Hi, mic. Hi, I'm Gay. I'm Bella Gay's father. Um, I just want to say congratulations to us about 2021. And um, you know, we couldn't, they couldn't have done without the staff and teachers here. And I'm honored to be here you know, with the school and the kids here graduating. And I want to say congratulations to all the students here. I'm very proud of all of them. And Bella was standing up. She has a huge grin on her face. Jamie's wiping off the mic. And now a uh, woman is coming up to the podium. Good morning. I'm Christy Brown, Rocky's mom. Um, as the same sentiment as the rest of the parents, we're very proud to have Rocky here. Uh, you know, I look back at when he was first born, and um, I would have to say, well, we weren't sure. Uh, this child has provided a challenge in uh, a pregnancy at 20 weeks. He said, I'm not bleeding. I'm head now. Well, the doctors luckily said, no, buddy, you have to stay a little bit longer. Uh, he tried twice, and finally, 31 weeks, we just said, you know what? This kid is going to be advanced no matter what we try, so let's just get started. And uh, that, that started life for this little man. And since then, I think anyone who knows Rocky will know that he is always a step ahead of the game. No matter what we do, he figures out a way to get there and to go further than anybody else. He has extremely high goals. Um, he attended uh, regular school until sixth grade, and then at seventh grade, we knew that he had to make a change. Uh, he was, you know, getting the education, but it wasn't exactly everything he needed. And coming to MSAB was one of the best things we could have ever done. Um, he learned so much. He grew so quickly. Uh, he found ways to, uh, you know, get through life by the people that have taught him the different things here. So we are greatly appreciative of that. Um, as Rocky continues to grow, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that he's going to hit his goals probably faster than we expect. And, uh, you know, he's, he's already uh, finished 30 credits in college. And uh, I know he won't say this because he's humble, but mom will say it, that he made the dean's list at college, which is pretty cool. Um, and his ultimate goal is to be the first blind president of the United States. I honestly have no doubt in my mind that he is going to do very well at that. So, Rocky, we love you. Um, Grandpa's looking down on you. We know that that was his goal to be here, and he's here in spirit. And the rest of our family is truly proud of you for everything you've done and everything you will do. Rocky 
who stood up for a moment when he sat down. Jamie is going back up on the podium, on the stage, rather. I just want to also extend my deepest gratitude to the main staff here. I can't thank you enough for the opportunity you provided me and for a wonderful, just a wonderful crew that I had tonight. I want to say that uh, even just over these past six years, I've gone through quite a bit in my life, not just personally, but also family, educational, and I've appreciated your support. I've appreciated the many memories that have been built. Right, you and being up. a student here, I was probably one of the greatest honors of my childhood, so I just want to extend uh, Thank you to my family, my mother, my stepfather, my sister, my grandmother, my late grandfather. I would not be here without them. And I also want to thank all the staff here at MSAB for your continued dedication to my education over the past six years. Thank you, Mr. Davis, Mr. Gonzalez, and all the others who have supported me throughout the way. He's holding out the mic. Jamie takes it from him. Rocky puts his mask back on and he sits down. Jamie Thank you, parents and Rocky. I know it's not easy to speak um, on behalf of yourself and also your child. So that was very nice. Thank you. So now we will move on and I'll introduce Mrs. Pelletier, our music therapist. You'll need a little bit of information on the songs that you will hear. Jennifer's standing up. She has a microphone in her So hand. after she's standing in front of the piano. For everyone, uh, the MSAB staff would like to congratulate you all and remind of our senior class to just be happy to celebrate this milestone. This year, um, as in years past, it's been a tradition that the MSAB staff forms a choir, and this is our gift to our graduating seniors. So this year's staff choir is comprised of Kathleen Robinson, Scott Berlin, Justin Hughes, Sue Angel, Mickey O'Flynn, Ruth Versace, Wendy LeBoy, uh, Maddie Instead, Claire Lawrence, and myself. And so we recorded a song ahead of time due to COVID restrictions. So we recorded it all separately and assembled it. And here you go. So this is an audio track. So in the room, there are no visuals going along with this music.
podium. I'd like to welcome up John Davis, our MSAP director, to present the Daniel Keller Memorial Scholarship. And John is walking up on the stage. He's taking off his mask, and he's at the podium. He pulled out some notes. Right, John Davis, director here at MSAP. Uh, I want to welcome all the families here and say congratulations to the graduates. I'm here to present the Danielle Keller Scholarship to one of the uh, graduates today. Uh, the Danielle Keller Scholarship was established in memory of Danielle Keller by her grandmother, Barbara Hoffman, and continued by her family. Danielle attended school at MSAB from 2004 until her graduation in June of 2012. The scholarship each year goes to a graduate from the multi-challenge program here at MSAB for unique circumstances and transition techniques. MSAB is very grateful to Danielle's family for their support and generosity. This year's scholarship goes to Ms. Avery Lamb. Congratulations. Ashley, the check is a check for $1,000. So congratulations again to Avery, and you have many successes in the future. Thank you. And he's handing the check to Ashley, Avery Sipa. And John's making his way down the steps, off the stage. And Jennifer has the microphone by the piano. I think it's time for another song. And I flip-flop those, so sorry about that. This would be Seize uh, the Day. The MSA choir this year was made up of top students. Marissa, Kelsey, Tori, Isabella, Emily, Cameron, Faith, and Anna. They would like to share a special song that they worked on this year. It's from the Broadway musical, The Newsies. And for those of you who don't know, it's about the newspaper strike of 1899. When you hear the words strike being shouted, it's all about kids who stood up, had courage, and made a difference. Seniors, we know that you too are going to make a difference, a big difference in the world. This is a song to remind you to seize the day and to make every day worthwhile. She just put down the mic.
Jamie is back up at the podium. Beautiful songs. So now, I present Rocky, Aviana, Isabella, Avery, and Jack, our MSAB 2021 senior class. Join them on the stage. He's back up. He's taking his mic. The graduates All right, senior that class, are able are, are standing. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So I will read the names off, and I will come to you and hand you your diploma. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Rocky Paul Park. the diploma. Rocky's holding it in his hands. It's a leather bound. Aviana Marilyn Castle. And she applauds herself and she takes the diploma and holds it in her hands. Isabella Ellen Kane. Isabella is walking to John. He hands it to her and then she walks backwards to where she is standing. Avery Madeira Lamb. And John hands the diploma to her Sita. Jack Thomas Marks. And hands the diploma to Jack. Well, Just to let you know, Jack did our little inside joke about who the boss is. <laughs> so who is the boss? I think Jack's the boss now. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, audience, those that are watching on streaming, I present to you the MSAB Class of 2021. From the audience are standing. Everyone is clapping. We have to cut the audio because they're going to be playing music.
you, everyone. Um, the tables that are set up in circle court, um, feel free to take uh, what's on them. I just ask that you please leave the baskets that the cards are in and the tablecloths. Um, please take your rows with you, but please leave the um, vase. So, and the little pom-poms, please leave those. But the little vases that have MSAB in it, um, please take those with you. So, thank you.